Hi all, welcome to my channel. Today let us see uh, how to use uh, JavaScript in external files. So far what we have seen is uh, how to use uh, JavaScript code in the same file only, right? In the same HTML or other uh, file only. Now let us see how to uh, create a uh, separate uh, external JavaScript file and how to put all the JavaScript code within that file, right? <music> So uh, let us see that. Okay, I have opened two files here basically. One is external example uh, dot html and one is uh, shiny script dot js. So this is the place where we are where I am going to put all the html code. Okay, let us see how uh, simply I, let me just put a p tag and let me give an, an id to that p element that is um, anything I can give my para okay then let me put some content within that paragraph this is uh, shiny okay so after that let me keep a button one click of that button <coughs> that will change the content of the p tag that's our purpose so what I do is one click um, I will keep uh, a function uh, change content function okay so once uh, um, uh, okay the label I will give click me to change change uh, click me to change that's enough that's enough uh, okay so what I do is um, okay so let us see uh, here <coughs> yes we are calling a function JavaScript function right but we don't know uh, where is function that function we will keep within the next external file that's our purpose so to connect to that file so uh, to connect to that file we should have uh, we will keep uh, what a script tag basically a script tag uh, uh, let me correct it uh, script tag then no type here uh, I will replace with src src attribute that source attribute I will put this file name file name is shiny script uh, dot js okay so within that uh, shiny script dot js uh, let me write the function function name is we know uh, what is the function name this is change content is the function name so let me keep that function name there and uh, double uh, bracket then within that curly braces then there let me keep document dot get element by id of id of my, our paragraph uh, element right it's content only we are going to change so let me keep that and dot inner html the content of that i will change to different content this is yes okay so something like that i will keep right uh, so that's it uh, here what we did uh, first the p element with an id and its content i have given and next is a button on click of that button a new function javascript function will be called and that javascript function is placed within this file shiny script.js and um, how we connect to that file using a script tag with a src attribute src attribute uh, value is that file name it can be if it is in different folder then we might have to keep a relative path or full url starting from http and all that i will show in next chapter so here uh, the file is placed in the same folder that's why i kept without any relative path so within that js file what i did is um, document dot get element id of my para that id of the paragraph element taken and inner html the content is changed to new so let us uh, run this per file now this is the file open with uh, open with google chrome okay so example this is any click me to change clicking on that this is changed to new right so this is what the simple example uh, on how to use um, external uh, how to use JavaScript uh, in external file so uh, hope you enjoyed video if you like it um, uh, like
click on like button and subscribe for more videos. So, it is a series all the JavaScript uh, uh, tutorial, all the JavaScript topics will be covered under this tutorial. So, um, if you subscribe it, uh, uh, mostly you will get uh, all the latest notifications what I uh, launch. So, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see in next video. Thank you.